the last score was at the eight minute mark so we've gone nowhere for the last 20 minutes the ball's out of play again 24 23 sydney is going to win you don't say that yet drew they've got to punch it back over the boundary line sydney or these ruckmen but footsway got to open it up there oh, right. line well played mcpherson a score will level the scores it's a point scores a level <laughs> you and your big mouth the and the siren is gone. The siren's gone. We've had a draw. Well, they both should get four points for today. They both should. Two well, was such just, an anticlimax. It was just a fantastic game. And what happened in the last quarter is what exactly should have happened. For, uh, Sydney, uh, Sydney should have gone to the boundary line. They did that. They should have gone again. But Wine did the, you know, the best thing. As a ruckman, he got it over the back, opened it up, and it was McPherson who swept onto it. That was good play. What a fantastic game of football. They don't know there's still a minute and a half remaining. Monkhorst will want to fist it oh, away. That's a free kick. Free kick. Oh. That is a shocker. That is a shocker. Now, any score, but by Wind or by the By Wind. Look at the way he did this. You can't afford to do that. Now, that was a, a bad one from Scotty. Oh. Any score would make it level if he kicks the goal. Collingwood are in front for the first time today. 45 metres out. Oh, he's no, missed he's the goal. It. Scores at level. Damien Monkhorst, his first score of the afternoon. And we've got 43 seconds left in the match. That's it's again. Collingwood. Ryan gets rid of his opponent. Looks like a draw. Seven seconds. Cameron, the clock stopped again. Four seconds. So it will be a draw. Unless a miracle happens here or there's a free kick downfield and you couldn't see that happening. Or a Rob Andrew drop goal. <laughs> Wind and Monkhorst. They do battle. James. Wild. There's the siren. It's a draw. It's a draw. Well, what a finish by Collingwood. Footscray seemingly had it won midway through the last quarter. They led by 35 points, the 23-minute mark of the third term, and the Bulldogs can't believe it. Dermot has a few words to young Daryl Griffin. Everybody well, looks disappointed. Who well, should be disappointed? Been, well, I think Footscray should be disappointed. We're down into the last minute. It is one point Footscray. Shocking kick by Taylor, wasn't it, really? One point, and the ball is about 85 to 90 metres from the Hawthorne goal. A very important ruck contest. Hawks get it. Richard Taylor in towards centre-half forward. What can Dunstall do? He can manufacture a goal. In goes Pritchard. And he misses. The score's a level in the dying seconds of the game at the Witten Oval. And, ladies and gentlemen, this is unbelievable stuff. The Hawks and the Bullies are going to play the first draw for season 1996. Uh, Boundary throw in left half forward for Hawthorne. Wind and Salmon. That's it. A draw. Well, an unbelievable ending. Footscray led by 27 points in the final quarter in a game where goals were just so hard to get. Poor percentage, back oh. in the ruck at the moment. Half a chance as his oh. arm across half back. Robran quickly oh. away, still under the pump. Hay as far as the wing and Smith. Now a chance for the Bulldogs. They've got in behind the defence. And Harford, well, he'll regret his run. Montgomery goes in and kicks a goal. It's all square. Montgomery's got two. Well, Daniel Arford, he'll rue that little decision there. With him, slaps it outside the 50. Taylor runs onto it, twisting, turning, lacking support, back across the body, and sliding in Leckis. Blanketed by Robbins in the second half, but can make a hero of himself right here. We're down to 50 seconds, and Leckis hoisting it long and high. Can they force it behind? Chick wanted to. 
kept alive. Oh. Contessa's got it. And again, they kick <laughs> right it out to the, the dogs. Unbelievable. Robin surges it forward. He needs support and he gets it. Here comes Powell. Powell gives it to Cash. Oh, oh straight Great stop. Runs into a brick wall. But the dogs still have it through Rowan Smith. He <laughs> can't pick it up. He sends it the wrong way. He loses it to Dixon. Oh. The Dixon kick is dropped by Dent. Mistakes, but that's the pressure. It's sensational here. Chick again picks it up, shoots it towards full forward. Contessa takes the mark. 12 seconds remaining. We're looking at a draw here, unless Rowan Smith can do something. Smith is away. One bounce. He loses it again. What's happened, Rowan? He can't believe it as he runs into Shane Crawford, and there'll be a throw in on the outer side. It's all over. It's going to be a draw. It is going to be a draw. Oh. Well, both sides will be so let down by that result. Unbelievable. Both had their chances and they squandered them. Amazing. Every Bulldog player is in their defensive half. 36 players in one half of the ground. Darcy will try to catch this. In it comes, Bolton missed it. Rioli, handballs astray, Ramanaskis desperate, comes to Croft, Croft gets it out to West, West kicks only as far as Barnard, here's a chance, he bangs it long, can Lloyd complete the story tonight? It's free a free kick. kick, it's a free kick to Lloyd, so and the siren's gone, the siren's gone, and Lloyd can complete the Cinderella comeback if he kicks the goal, he's kicked five. So look at the players around the ball. Matthew Lloyd, 20 metres out, the angles are cute. In he comes for goal number six. He's missed it. We have a tie at Colonial. What a sensational game of football. And I know it's one of the oldest cliches in the book, but I reckon that was a fitting result. I reckon it was to, I really do, I think it was a fitting result. Look, both, both teams, coaches, players, they were magnificent. Well, the run has been out. Look at the numbers inside the 50 for West Coast. Robbins is going to have to kick it before the siren goes. Oh. Wants to play on. Oh, this is optimistic. All sorts of danger. Could just run it through. Incredible. They take him on. West to Murphy. The mark taken by Emily. 13 seconds, 12 remaining. It goes inside 50. Nina Mark Sampi will kick out for the siren to tie the game. Would you believe it? 38,540 fans on their feet. The Bulldogs have not won for 10 weeks. But he can save it. He's 15 metres out. Ashley Sampi, this is your moment. And he kicks a goal. It's a draw at Subiaco. That's why we paid this bike the big money to bring him down here. It's a hard kick. There are not many players in the AFL with goal from here. And he's not quite going to do it. Oh, oh it's a mark on the right. It's not. It's Skipper. Hold oh, on, make him the Skipper if he kicks this. <laughs> I'm not going to try and bit of that line. Yes, Bruce, this is the ninth big kick. Wrong side for their footer. It's taken a screamer. Now to put the dogs in front, and that's where they are. They're barking now. Kicks it down towards half forward. Now it's out. Clock stops. 47 seconds to go. Run. And that's what Graham can do. One bounce. Torpedo. Long. Can Revolt take it? Oh, of course oh, he can. Oh. Extraordinary mark. That's like Joe Montana to Jerry Rice for a touchdown. Better. 
What a play. Graham unloading. And the only bloke out there tonight who could get onto it. This would be one of the great plays of all time if you can drill this. Can Revolt win the match of his own boot? Yes. No. <laughs> Scores a level. What about that poster at three-quarter time? I reckon the Lions will like it. It's a draw. Bizarre game, bizarre finish. There's King in the defensive goal square. I meant consecutively. Happened last week. King walks across the line and concedes a behind. And why not? It would seem this one's in the book. King lays it off to McMahon. Not in the textbook. There's Foley. Didn't handball. No. Didn't handball, says the umpire. Mark's here. And Bruce, you and I were worried. Daniel Cross. To reduce the margin to 12 points with under three minutes to go, and he's done it. Okay. Eagleton running hard. And so is Hill. Eagleton will get it. Now it's a beautiful kick normally. He's a left footer. He'll swing. Little dab inside. Goal missed by Murphy. Gets a second crack. Does beautifully. Check sides at home. There's a goal the difference. In the middle. Here they come, the dogs. Good man to have it too. Cooney loads up to full forward. The Flyers like from the clouds. He's got to look up quickly. He's got to play in the square. He's cramped. Go away, go away. And the clock hasn't stopped. It's still running. Come on, Ump. Thank you. Well, this is interesting. He kicked the first goal. He's I reckon he's faking this. <laughs> well, he's not necessarily the bloke you want to have the ball in the hands off to kick a goal after the siren. What are you doing, mate? Well, Welsh is there. Brian. He's kicked five behinds Welsh. Watch this, because Welsh, yeah, that's right, today, not necessarily the man, but would he be the one to take the kick? White just Lindsay Lindsay Gilby. Gilby's put his hands on it. Have a look at this. No, he's calling Will Minson from the goal square. Brian, you're going to go off, mate. You are going off the ground. You are next closest. Jeez, so Minson's got it. What? Take him off the ground. Where was Minnow and all of that? Hang on, hang on. And apparently hang on, the closest. So, gee, this is interesting. So, Calvin, take it out. How take it out, take injured is Brian out. Lake right now? No, Will kicks it. That's what we've got. He's kicked two today. Looking okay. Looking very good, Schwartzy. It's pushing forward. 130 apiece. Any score to either side will win this now. Hudson beaten by Patterson. Foley kept it in front, fell to ground. Going again, Patterson threw his body in, and he's going to get a free kick. Patterson wants to go. Clock is down at two seconds. We've got a draw. Now that's interesting. I think he thought he was going to get the free kick. Nathan Brown was celebrating, but it's a draw. And how did that slip away from the Tigers? So brave to come back and get the big lead and then just happen to mangle it. 2010 Richmond, 1916, the Western Bulldogs, a draw on Sunday at the Dome.